let's start with the two different sized squares that are touching at one side and are horizontally aligned. Now on the bottom side of our sketch, let's construct another two touching squares that are identical so that their overall length is equal to the overall length of the previously constructed squares just as shown in the sketch. Now, from the bottom point of intersection of our two identical squares, we will pull the line to the bottom point of intersection of our two different squares. And we will say that this line has the length of 1. The question is, is it possible for us to find the combined area of these two different squares? If you want to try this interesting problem for yourself, you can pause the video right now and then come back and check the solution. Alright, so let's solve this one. First, let us notice the only right triangle in the sketch with the hypotenuse of 1. We will label the longer vertical leg of this right triangle as X and the shorter horizontal leg as Y. From here, we will use the Pythagorean theorem. We can say that leg x square plus leg y square is equal to hypotenuse 1 squared. And we will get that x squared plus y squared is equal to 1. We will save this equation for later. Now, let's label the side of our bigger square as A and the side of our smaller square as B. You can probably notice that the longer leg of our right triangle with the value of x is also equal to the side of our bottom left square. Now let's play around with these sides. Let's push upward the sides x and y. We can now clearly see that the side of our bigger square a must be equal to x plus y. Now, since those bottom two squares are identical, that means that the bottom right square also has the side with the value x. And if we again slide the sides x and y upward, we can now see that the side x is equal to the y plus b. And from here we can conclude that the side b of our smaller square is equal to x minus y. Alright. So now, our red shaded area contains two squares. Bigger square with the side A that has the area of A square and the smaller square with the side B which has the area of B squared. We will use this in formula. We can say that our wanted area must be equal to A squared plus B squared. Now we will substitute the values of a and b which we got earlier and we will get the following equation. Now from here we can simplify this equation by expanding its terms with using the formula of square of binomial. If we apply this formula for both of our terms we will get the following equation. Now we can simplify this by first cancelling second and the fifth term. And then we will get that the area is equal to 2x squared plus 2y squared. Now we can simplify further to get that area is equal to 2 times the quantity of x squared plus y squared. But if you remember, we already got the value of x squared plus y squared that is equal to 1. So we can substitute that value in and we will get that our area is equal to 2 times 1 which means that the combined area of our two different sized squares must be equal to two squared units and this is our solution. Hope you guys enjoyed this interesting problem. If you did, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It means a lot. And of course, until next time, see you guys and take care.